Hey guys, welcome back to Tyra Farms. Uh, what I'm gonna do today is spray some hillsides. Uh, and this is what I use, crossbow. I get it at Tractor Supply and Royal King. Uh, it's really good stuff. It kills pretty much all the shrubs, the trees, the thicker stuff, and it just leaves the grass. So it's really good. Uh, I'll show you here what, how I do it and kind of when I do it. Uh, you want it to be good and hot, so today's going to be really hot. And uh, I'll load up the side by side and get the tank filled. I got a 25 gallon tank, and so I'll show you how I do it. This is some of the best stuff I've come across to help with the hillsides and just keep all the brush and stuff down. Um, it allows the grass to grow and kind of smother out everything else. Um, but it's really good stuff. I've been using it for a few years. It goes a long ways. I can get, uh, I got two tanks out of this already. So I can get about four to five tanks. Uh, my tanks are 25 gallons. So I can get about 125 gallons worth of spraying out of this. Uh, and it's about $120 for this one. Uh, it is a little cheaper at Royal King, but Tractor Supply will price match. So if you show them how much it is at Royal King, they will price match it, so that helps. That's usually what I do. Uh, but let's check it out. I'll bring you right back. Hey guys, welcome back to Tyra Farms. I'm out here spraying. I showed you earlier what I was using, uh, the crossbow. I wanna show you my setup now. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's nice and hot. That sun is just cooking me alive. It is so hot. And uh, it is really nice out. So I like spraying on these really hot days. Uh, the leaves are nice and dry. And as soon as this crossbow hits them, it absorbs it and it just kills them like that. Uh, what this crossbow does, and I'll give you an example here. I'm on the road. You can see the road behind me. There's a, a bank, like a hill through here, and it is hard to get. And I'll turn around and show you. Right up through here, you see the road, and there's a hill. It goes down to these lower bottoms that are below me. I'm up in the road, and those bottoms are a lot lower down there. So what we do is we will keep this hill sprayed. And what this spray, this crossbow does, it will kill all the trees, the shrubs, all the big briars, all the bigger stuff out. It'll pretty much kill everything but grass. So that way we don't have all this thick stuff. And we've we've done pretty good so far. There's some, see, there's a tree here. And there's some little stuff. Like every year there's some more stuff tries to grow back. But every year it gets a little better. The grass grows and it will smother out all the shrubs and stuff. So eventually you'll just have grass. Uh, we do, it is steep. So we don't spray it too, too hard. We want some grass to grow and some smaller stuff to grow and have good roots and help maintain the hillside so it don't wash off. Uh, but we have a lot of brush. We like to keep some of this die, uh, killed back. Uh, we've been bush hogging, dad's been bush hogging the bottoms, hillsides a little bit and it's looking really good. Like up here, we got a little bit. Um, this is one of our barns. Uh, we've got another barn up here inside. It's it's pretty bad. It's about to fall. Uh, we sprayed this one last year, painted it. I need to do the roof. Uh, may paint it again. Probably this year if we get time. If not, we'll just wait till next year because it's not too bad. Uh, but anyways, with the crossbow, we're spraying all the hillsides. The road that I'm in, we do spray the trees the limbs that are overhanging the road and uh, pretty much we just we try to keep the roads clear and you can see there's one limb here that I sprayed I've sprayed a couple times already there's a dead limb here and we've got pretty good uh, coverage on the road we just don't want stuff hanging out over the road uh, so that's that's really it I'll show you how this thing works and what I've got, uh, I've got a, a tank and a sprayer. And I will tell you, this is 
This is my 25 gallon one, so it fits. It's very convenient. I just fill it up with water, put my crossbow solution in it. Uh, it's got a pump on it. I think I've got like 25 feet of hose, I believe is about what it is. And we've got a super jet uh, gun, super jet spray gun. It does, it's 80 PSI. And, but it's it's really nice. I've had this thing for a while. It's starting to wear out. The trigger is gone. But I can show you how it works if I use my other hand. And it sprays a good little way. So I'm going to spray this tree down there. And I'll try to make it so y'all can. There you go. And the wind is blowing right now. What I do is I just go all the way through the hill here. And I'll show you a little. I want to get this tree, kind of keep it killed back. I'll just give it a good shot like that. And that's it. And we'll move on down the road and we'll eventually just get we'll get all the creek banks there's a creek right here it goes up beside the barn this right here it goes up by the black barn uh i go up through there up to the pond and i try to go around all the creeks to get them to keep all the big brush out of the creek um, and then i try to go around the tree line so up here around the tree line if there's anything hanging over bad, I try to make my way around it and just it helps keep the trees in the forest and the fields in the field. So it has a good separation, but that's a lot to do. It's nice and hot. I've gone through about three Gatorades today, so I'm good and hot and fueled up and hydrated. Uh, but it's just a beautiful day out. I mean, I could just stand here and enjoy this view all day. Um, but I want to show you how we spray and keep some of the, the brush cut back, sprayed back. Um, I figure it was a good time to show you all. But I appreciate you all. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will keep you all posted. And until next time, have a great day and be safe.